Hi everyone, this is Gaurav Gupta and this is the first in a series of video that I intend to record aimed at teaching undergrad students or anyone who wants to learn the object-oriented features of Java. I'm going, to, I'm going to try and make the video and the description as simple as possible. And first I'll go through the agenda for the first video. First of all, what's it about? It's about programming and more specifically object-oriented programming. So the concept of creating, designing and creating good classes, um, creating relationships between multiple classes and using them in a software. The assumed knowledge or the starting point is that you have done some sort of structural programming before. Now that programming can be in C, it can be in C++, it can be in Java, it can be in PHP. It really doesn't matter because the difference is basically in the syntax only. So the topics that I'm assuming that you know are conditions, loops, methods, which is also called procedures or functions in other languages, and most importantly the concept that methods return values, arrays, and finally strings. The first thing you'll need to do when you want to program in Java is install Java Standard Edition. The current version of Java is 7, update 7. If you just go on you just search for Java SE download. You'll be redirected to Oracle's website because Java is now owned by Oracle. It says Java use uh, 7U9 actually, so I was mistaken. I stand corrected. 7U9. It has Java platform JDK 7U9. That's the one you need to download. So that's the one, you go to download, accept the license, choose your platform, and that's essentially it. It's going to download either an .exe file if you're on a Windows-based machine, or a .dmg file if you're on a Mac, which I am. You download that and install that like any other software, and that's fine. After you've installed Java, then you install Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Now the first thing I'll do is I'll create a link for this in the text file and then Eclipse. So here you just have to search for Eclipse. Eclipse.org <coughs> Go to downloads and the one we want is Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Again, it detects your operating system. If it's a Windows operating system, you'll have to download the one for Windows. So you install that and then you're good to go. Please take a look at the bottom center. That's what Eclipse icon looks like. You click on that icon and you launch Eclipse. We'll first create a really, really simple project which doesn't really use any significant class. So our first project is just to explain the concept of a project, a package, and classes. To create a new project, you go to File, New, Java Project. You select the name of the project, we'll call this Hello World Project. and finish. When you double click on the project, you'll see a source folder and you'll see JRE system library. These are all the libraries that are used by your 
default Java project. You, you right-click on the project and select new package after that. We'll call this package source. I know it's very similar to SRC, but just to get started, we'll call it source and finish. SRC contains source. You right click on source now and create a new class and call this hello world. In this project, please remember to select public static void main. So choose that and finish. You can see that this file contains package source because it belongs to the package source. It contains public class hello world. Please note that this class name should be exactly the same as the file name. If you if you call this class hello world with a small w, Java or Eclipse tells you that there is a problem. Now this is a really nice feature in Eclipse and most of the other IDs nowadays. They give you all the errors and the warnings uh, along the source code. You triple click on the error and it says rename the compilation unit to hello small w world dot java which is your file name or you rename the type which is your class name to hello world with a capital W and that's what we want to do. So it changes the file name and you can see that once I save this the error has disappeared. This slash star 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 slash is a java doc comment. Java doc comments are really good because you can then create an HTML web page or a navigable na uh, page that, can, that you can navigate through uh, using java doc. So you, as soon as you say slash star star and click enter, it fills in everything for you. And the beauty about this is that you can just type in and it creates that page. It fills in the comment I need. We'll go through Java doc later, but for the time being, we don't need to go through that right now. Okay. Then you have public static void main string square brackets ARGS, and that's why I stressed so much about that point. If you don't want to type this part, you should check that button. In Java, display messages or output is given through system.out.print or system.out.println. Print changes, sorry, println changes the line after it displays whatever you'd like it to display. While print does not. So we just say system.out.println system .out hello world and copy and paste it again because I'm lazy and see you soon. You can run a Java project using the play button. It says run Java, run hello world.java. I've placed my console on the right side. Sometimes it can also be on the bottom. You can just drag and drop it wherever you want it to be. So you can have be at the top, the right, or the bottom, wherever you feel comfortable. We'll play this and we get hello world, see you soon. If I remove the ln from there, it just says hello world, see you soon on one line. So that's the difference between print and print ln. So essentially any code that you write has to go into a class. Classes should ideally be ideally be a part of some package, although you can choose the default package, and all these packages belong to a project. Please note at the same time that you can have multiple programs inside a single project. We'll go into that a bit later. Um, math, we write some math code and we 
choose public static void main and finish it. So you can see that source now contains two files, hello world and math code. In math code, all, all I'll do is in x is 4 plus 5. And display x and it displays 9 so you can choose which file you would you would like to run and depending on which file you run that configuration is executed please note that if you are gonna run a file it should contain public static void main inside the class